Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be ranking every single Dumb Ways to Die game. So without further ado, let's do this. 16, Dumb Ways Jr. Loopy's Train Set. This is one of the most simplest games ever. What do you do? You make train tracks and you just kind of move around and stuff. And that is it. This game is so dumbed down. Like, why does this game even exist? Like, come on. I understand it exists for toddlers. But for a ranking, this is just so stupid. 15, Dumbways Jr., Boffy's Breakfast. There's another one of these. Oh, boy. You just make food, like, cut food, like, give it to him. That is it. Once again, this is just so, so basic. Like, come on. This is not fun at all. 14, Dumbways Jr., Madcap's Plane. Oh boy, I mean, I guess it is a little interesting because you have to fly a plane and all that. But other than that, um, it just isn't as interesting as you expect. It just doesn't have the same impact as, you know, the other games that are coming soon. It's so simple. 13, Dunways Jr., Zany's Hospital. This is the last of the Dunways Jr., hooray. Now, at least it is a little interesting because you actually have the chance to, like, do a lot more things. You get to, like, help out, like, with, like, injuries. And you have, like, a waiting room and all that. So, it is a little interesting. But other than that, I'm just tired of these games. Like, these games aren't even fun at all. Like, it is fun for toddlers. I get that. But for, like, a hardcore, like, gamer or, like, just any, like, ranker, like, this is just stupid. 12, don't waste the climb. Now let's get into the real stuff. Now this game is kind of like one of those rage quitting games. And it's meant not to be that good. So the game is very, very frustrating to play. And you have to like respawn, like retry levels. Which is not very fun at all. But I mean, at least it is interesting with like the levels. But like, I don't know. They meant it for it to be really, really not fun. And it really shows. It's not the best. But at least it isn't as bad as Dumbways Jr. I have to bring it up. I'm sorry. 11. Dumbways to Die Superheroes. So this game is focusing like... It's kind of like the game that I'll mention later. Dumbways to Dash. But it's said it has like superheroes kind of stuff. And basically you have to race another person. Now this game has a nice concept. But it's kind of just kind of simple. It has, like, a simple, like, premise, like, the other Endless Runners or, like, versus games. And there's this weird bug where I got, like, a little stuck on a section. And I was about to end the video, but then all of a sudden I managed to, like, get the victory. I don't know how that happened, but it was, like, a weird glitch. I don't know why that works. But, yeah, other than that, this game is just very average, to say the least. So... I hope you enjoyed this video of me getting frustrated about the second level. Thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna be stuck at the second level. Shoot. Oh, wait. Wait! 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 I completed it? Oh my! 10. Dumb Ways to Dash. Now, this game is mostly a racing game where basically... You race other opponents, like, that have, like, different skins and stuff, and you go to different, rate like, maps and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. Now, I put this one higher um, than Superheroes, because at least it doesn't have much bugs. But other than that, the game is just, you know, very average again, because it's just very simple. So, it's not the best, but, you know, it's, it's still a pretty fun game, if you think about it. Nine, don't waste to draw. Basically... There's, like, these few characters, and basically you have to, like, draw some lines in order to make a character dr draw across. But, like, there's a lot of obstacles, obviously, so, yeah, that's there. Now, the reason why I put this here is because the game has too much ads things. And even if you remove the ads, the game is just kind of too simple. It has, like, simpler, simple obstacles. But there is a sequel game, which I'll get through shortly. But for now, this game is is actually pretty fun. If the ads weren't there, and even if you remove the ads, the, the game is kind of too simple anyways. But it's still pretty fun. 8. Dumb Ways to Sleep. Now before you say, this, is, this isn't a game, why did you pick this? The reason why I put this in the ranking 
It's because I just feel like it feels like a, a thing you can, like, make as a game yourself. Basically, you try to, like, sleep and, like, just, like, track your sleep da data. You can put some songs and sounds and all that. And why did I put this one up higher than the others? Well, I just feel like it's very natural and you have a lot of fun just, like, sleeping. And you can actually just make your own games and all that, which is why I put it in the ranking. Because it just feels natural. So, yeah, that's why I put Dumb Ways to Sleep. It's still a really fun, like, app, like an activity app, but you can make it as a game yourself. So that's why I put it. So it's definitely a really fun experience. Seven, Dumb Ways to Draw 2. Now, this is an approved game of Dumb Ways to Draw. And it basically has everything it has that you'll enjoy, like the drawing sections and different obstacles and all that. But it has more levels as more like crazy obstacles, and it's just an improved experience. It has a little ad problem again, but it's still a really improved, fun experience. I absolutely love it. It has incredible mechanics, it has incredible everything. It's definitely an improved experience from the first game, and I absolutely love it. Six, Don't Waste to Die. This is the original game that started it all. Well, technically the campaign started it all this Don't Waste to Die nonsense, but this was the first game that started it all. It's so nostalgic. It's classic. Basically, it's like one of those WarioWare games where you go through different levels in a certain amount of time and basically like complete it. Now, in the modern era, um, like in the olden days, yeah, it was a good game. In the modern era, it does have some not so like doesn't age well areas. So that's why I put it at number six. But it's still a really fun experience and definitely one that you'll love. As a kid, I, I love this as a kid. It was really fun and I absolutely enjoyed the experience. Five, Dumb Ways to Die, Dumb Choices. This is a really fun game because you basically have an interactive like story where you pick a decision, like do you pick this decision or this decision? If you pick the wrong decision, you'll die. If you pick the right decision, you go on to the next area. And it's really fun. I absolutely love these kind of story games. Like normally I don't like them because they're kind of like really stupid with like teen stuff but like this game is like more meant to be like a kid friendly version and i absolutely like that idea i mean it technically isn't but it's meant to be not so you know and it's really fun i absolutely love all the deaths all the experiences it's definitely a really fun time i absolutely loved it when i first played it and i it was a blast four is finally dumb ways to die four this is like one of the recent Dumb Ways to Die games in the main, like, installments. And basically, it's basically a combination of both Dumb Ways to Die 2 characters and Dumb Ways to Die 1 characters combined together with mini games and all that. Now, they're very simplified because it's just, like, the modern era and all that. But this was meant to celebrate 10 years of Dumb Ways to Die, which is absolutely crazy. And it's actually a really fun game. I absolutely love, like, every mechanic every like mini game it's definitely a fun experience it isn't as huge as the other rankings i'm bringing up but this is still a really fun time three don't waste to die wire walk now this is an interesting game because this is an apple tv game and honestly the reason why i put it at the number three spot is simply because this game is just so addicting it's so fun like the idea of like just kind of like being an un endless runner with like no interruptions or anything with obstacles on your way. It's just a fun experience. I absolutely love like it's simple concept. I don't really have much to say, but like I put it on number three because it's just so addicting. It's so fun. Two, Dumb Ways to Die 3 World Tour. Now this game is a little different than the other Dumb Ways to Die games where basically you go through mini games, but not in the way like WarioWare kind of way. You just kind of go through endless runners through stuff. And the reason why I put this one number two is because it's actually really fun to just do, like, all these minigames. And while you do that, you also get to build towns and you add in more characters. It's a really, really fun experience. I absolutely enjoy its creativity and everything they made. And it's such a fun, joyous ride. And one, Dumb Ways to Die 2, The Games. Now, the reason why I put this one number one is because this one is just... So nostalgic. It has really good mini games, and one of the best parts about this game is that there's like a map of some sorts where like you go through different like areas, and there was even a new one added on later on. Yes, there was DLC. There is DLC free updates in Dome of Die games. This might be the best one because it also has a space area, 
but everything else, it is a really fun experience. I absolutely enjoy like the entire mini games, the entire character selection. It's it's a great time, and I absolutely love its creativity and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, and be a good citizen.